All right, so in this video we're checking out the Radiomaster T8 Lite and WT01 wireless trainer. So we'll talk about the, the WT01 uh, momentarily. I'll we'll talk about the radio first. So we've actually seen this radio before in a previous video with the uh, Anim RC um, Ready to Fly bundle. And this is going to be one that you're going to see in a lot of those um, bind and fly kits because it is a fairly inexpensive radio, about $40. Uh, it only does D8 and D16 mode, however, so no Express LRS, no Crossfire, none of the fancy stuff. I have done uh, videos on the older versions of this, uh, the T8 and the T8 Pro. Uh, that was based on OpenTX. This one is not. This does not have OpenTX in here at all. So basically it is a very simplified and uh, less expensive version of the uh, previous T8 radios. Additionally, it's using the less expensive potentiometer or resistor-based gimbals. The uh, mechanical part of it in, in terms of like the spring tension and the smoothness is uh, similar, if not the same as the other. I think the T8 Pro has the hall sensor gimbals, but of course the potentiometer gimbals uh, will wear out eventually over time, depending on how, how much you use it. And also on the back here, it does have the same cover and which covers up the bind button there. But the pins here for the screen attachment on the T8 Pro does not exist on here. Like on the T8, you can upgrade to the T8 Pro with the uh, screen module. You can't do that with this one. And again, this is not OpenTX based, so the screen obviously is kind of irrelevant uh, for this purpose. Other than those differences, it's pretty much you know, the same form factor, the same sticks. Uh, 1000 milliamp hour battery inside. You still have the uh, USB C port here on top for simulator use and also for charging. And then you have another port over here for your um, trainer cable. It's just a, basically an analog 3.5 millimeter jack uh, for your trainer to connect to another radio. If you want to use a, this in a wired trainer setup, of course, we're going to talk about the wireless trainer here in a, in a second. Turn it on, you just long press the button get a tone. The three lights shows how much it's been charged up to uh, out of five lights. You have the same switches here on top, a two position switch here, another one here, and then these are three position switches and you have eight channels total. So to put this into bind mode, you have to use some sort of a screwdriver or tool to press the bind button here. You have to hold it for three seconds. So you can hear there that it's a single beep, and after about 10 seconds, it will stop uh, beeping and it'll come out of bind mode. So you have to put your receiver into bind mode during the time that it's beeping. So that single beep where it goes beep, 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 beep is uh, D8 mode binding. If you want to put it into D16 uh, binding mode yet, yeah, it'll, it'll go beep, 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 beep. You'll notice the difference here. And the way you do that is uh, the radio is currently in D8 mode. While you're binding in D8 mode, short press the uh, button again for about one second and then it'll go to the double beeps and then it'll be in D16 bind mode and it'll stay in D16 mode. So let me demonstrate that. And then press it again. Now it's in D16 mode. And to switch it back into D8 mode, you do the same thing. Put it into bind mode, short press the button, and it'll go back into the single beeps, and then you're in D8 mode. So I have tested this with both D8 and D16 receivers. It does remember the bind, so you can multi-bind this with multiple D and D16 receivers because the transmitter ID is stored in the receiver, not in the radio. So you can uh, bind this up with multiple models if you're worried about that. Okay, so to put it into calibration mode, you have to... Um, Press the or say press the bind button while you're powering up the radio. So let's try and do that here. Hear that? That dee -dee, That is in means it's in calibration mode. So you want to move the sticks up and down three times, and then left and right three times. Don't slam the sticks. And then you hear that do dee -dee? That means it has been calibrated and is now out of calibration mode. Okay, so to get this to work with the wireless trainer, you have to bind this um, 
bind the radio to the wireless trainer. So there's a small battery in here that it will charge off of this uh, USB-C port. And um, there's a indicator here for lights. I'll show how much of a charge it has. So four lights means it's got full charge and three lights is 75% charge, etc. There's a small button here to turn it on and also put it into bind mode. All right, so to get the uh, radio and the wireless trainer to bind together, let's go ahead and put the wireless trainer into bind mode. Long press the power button here. You get a fast flashing light like that. Go ahead and put the radio into bind mode. That quick flash there means that it's binding. And then we should have a solid green light, which means we are now bound. And by the way, there are a couple of adapters that are included with a wireless trainer for other radios if you're not using an open TX radio. I believe this one here are, is for Fataba radios, and it's basically this uh, audio jack will connect here, and then you connect this to your Futaba radio. And I believe this one here is for um, Spectrum type radios that have a different type of DSC jack. See the uh, jack is a little bit different. So uh, this is an adapter for those other type of radios, but we'll be using an open TX radio here. This is the uh, TX12, and I'll be using the trainer port here on top. So we just go ahead and plug that in. Like so, and you can see we're still bound. Go ahead and turn on our master radio. And I'm just following the instructions that are in the manual here. So basically for the instructor radio, you have to go to certain pages here. Um, under the model, trainer mode has to be master jack. And then you have to set up a special function for a switch. You can see right there and enable that and then you can see on this trainer page you should be able to see the sticks when that um, switch is activated so go ahead and set that up real quick so we're here in the model and we'll go ahead and press that and then page in and we'll go down to the bottom under trainer mode this should be set to master Should be set to master jack. And then we'll page over to special functions. So other OpenTX radios might look a little different on their screen, but the basic function of OpenTX the way it works should be the same whether you have a nice screen or one of these smaller black and white screens. So go ahead and we'll uh, enter a, a special function in here. And then you can assign this to a switch. I'll assign this to this button here. So when you have this pressed, that'll give control to the uh, trainer radio. And when you, I release it, then I can take over the control. So this is for the master. So I'm gonna have it for the down position. And then we'll scroll over. I'm gonna change this to trainer sticks and then enable that so once we get out of this go into the system menu here scroll over to the trainer page which is page five seven and we should be able to see here it's gonna be hard to get this all on screen okay so then now we can see here at the bottom the different channels so channel three here is the throttle channel. As I move the throttle channel, you can see those numbers change. Aileron, elevator, and yaw. So those sticks, you can see now in the trainer screen, you can see that they are working through the wireless module. Okay, so the last thing to show is the servo tester function. So there's these servo connectors here uh, for the four channels obviously for the four channels are controllable on the radio and let's we'll plug in here this is channel one it should be the aileron channel 
Yeah, that's how you can test your servos that way. This is a really old, noisy servo. Okay, so that's gonna do it for this video, yeah. So if you're looking for a way to maybe uh, get one of your friends into the hobby and uh, you wanna help them out using a master trainer setup, this is a good way to get started with the WTON wireless trainer and this radio. Of course, they can just get the radio by itself and they can also just use this with simulators using the USB joystick function. That works great. Uh, I recommend Liftoff. I like that uh, simulator a lot. Then this radio obviously works great with that. But yeah, if you want to get started for you know very little uh, without a lot of risk for forty dollars, it's a good way to you know this with the simulator is a good way to get started and um, get up in the air and, and get, get just get started on your FPV journey. Okay, that's gonna do it for this video. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll talk to you guys in the next one.